Let us determine all the integer a, b, c such that a, b plus c equal to 20, 20 and a plus b, c equal to 20, 21. So we want to solve this two equation a, b plus c equal to 20, 20. Let's write this one as equation 1 and a plus b, c equal to 20, 21. Let's write this one as equation 2. Now we see that we are given two number of equation and three number of unknowns a, b, c. So we expect that maybe we should have infinitely many solution, but that's not a case here because we aren't integer solution. So how is it that we are giving just finite number of solution? That's because that every non-zero integer has a distinct number of factors. Now, now further we observe that 20, 20 and 20, 21, they have got difference of just one. So let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So we just write minus here. We are just subtracting minus minus. So we are subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. So we can write it as AB minus A and then C minus BC equal to 20, 20 minus 20, 21, that's equal to minus 1. So we just write it once again. AB minus A plus C minus BC equal to minus 1. As we said earlier, we want ABC to be integer. So we have to use some property of integer. One of them is that every non-zero integer has got finite number of factors. Can we factorize this expression? Let us take a common from this expression to obtain a into b minus 1 and then minus c common from this expression to obtain minus c into b minus 1 equal to minus 1. Wow, we observe that we can take b minus 1 common once again. Upon taking b minus 1 common, we obtain b minus 1 into a minus c equal to minus 1. But as we said earlier, we have got a finite number of factors. What are the factors of minus 1 if we talk in terms of integer? 1 and minus 1. You see that b being an integer, b minus 1 is an integer. So integer into a and c both being integer, a minus c is also an integer. So integer into integer equal to minus 1. So b minus 1 is a factor of minus 1. Therefore, b minus 1 equal to either 1 or minus 1. The only factors of integer factors of minus 1 are 1 and minus 1. So we just add it to write b equal to 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Let's look let's do those case by case case 1 the easier one b equal to 0 let us look at the equation 1 and 2 once again when b equal to 0 c equal to 20 20 by equation 1 c equal to 20 20 Wow, quite easy, right? By equation 2, A equal to 20, 21. By equation 2, A equal to 20, 21. Therefore, we got solution in this case. Therefore, in this case, A comma B comma C equal to 2021 a equal to 2021 b equal to 0 and c equal to 2020 okay let's look at the other case b equal to 2 let us write this equation as equation 3 by equation 3 
b equal to 2, so b minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 into a minus c equal to minus 1. 1 into a minus c equal to minus 1. So that gives us a equal to, take c to the right hand side, c minus 1. Now we got a in term of uh, c, my c, that's it, c and minus 1. But by equation 1, if we write b equal to 2 in equation 1, okay, let's write equation 1. By equation 1, uh, ab plus c equal to 20, 20, but b equal to 2, therefore 2a plus c equal to 20, 20. Now we replace a by c minus 1. 2 times a, but we want to replace a by c minus 1. So 2 times c minus 1 plus c equal to 20, 20. And 2 into c is 2 into c. 2 number of c plus 1 number of c gives us 3 number of c equal to 20, 20. If you take this 2 to the right hand side, we get 20, 22. 2, 0, 2, 2. From there, we conclude that c equal to uh, 6. 3 into 6 is 18, 3 into 7 is uh, 21, and 4. 3 into 4 is 6, 7, 4. So we got C equal to 6, 7, 4. Therefore, A equal to C minus 1. Therefore, A equal to C minus 1. 6, 7, 4 minus 1 is 6, 7, 3. B equal to 2 that we have obtained in this case. And C equal to uh, 6, 7, 4. So this is one solution and ABC equal to 20, 21, comma, 0, comma, 20, 20. That is other solution. So we obtain two pair of solution corresponding to A, comma, B, comma, C.